I'll start by saying that this video wasn't supposed to be like this, because I was going to talk about how much I hate and love Autumn, but sometimes or often I get a little bit too sarcastic and I thought that since my parents struggle to understand when I'm sarcastic or not, I thought you might as well. Sorry. So instead I'm going to try to understand why bookworms love this season so much. Spoiler, it might still contain some sarcasm. It's that time of season again when trees die and my Instagram is filled with orange, yellow, red and brown. I talked about this also last year because I fell a bit in love with the word autumnal. It's still a beautiful word, but it's no surprise that I learned that word from looking at book related videos on YouTube. Because bookworms really, really, really like autumn. And should I believe Instagram, bookworms like to wander around in parks with their books in hand and just looking at leaves. They also like to sit on park benches in houndstooth clothing, reading books. Likewise, sitting inside in front of their fireplace with the book in their lap, looking out at the leaves. Safe to say, it seems like all bookworms love this season. And it's also safe to say that I have a lot of questions. But first of all, I thought I would check out if this just pertains to readers or if people in general enjoy autumn. And here's what I found. So the first thing was routine. During summer, people tend to travel for vacation and have less predictable schedules. Once fall starts, most people resume their everyday routines, making it easier for friends to get together and socialize. There is a comfortable routine that this season brings. And I'm a bit torn on this one because I really like to have the routine, but I do not like if routine is the only thing I got. So I much rather prefer a bit chaos in my everyday. Also, I thought people really loved summer, but if research shows that people love coming back to their routines, I feel like I've missed something, but that's also fine. The second thing I found was related to weather. The weather may also present some mental health benefits. The cooler temperatures and spectacular foliage encourage us to spend time in nature, which has been connected with improvements in our happiness, well-being, relationships and sense of having a life purpose. In addition, with cooler temperatures comes clarity of thinking in contrast to the fogginess associated with warmer temperatures. I don't know because I live in Norway so when autumn comes we're always encouraged to pop some D vitamins pills and try to stay positive and wait until spring comes. I've never heard anyone talking about that autumn is the season to get happy. That just seems to be a that just seems to be a mismatch there. The part about thinking clearer I understand because when it gets colder your senses are heightened because you got to be aware of your surroundings. If that's positive or not, I do not know. The third one is clothing. Swapping out our summer clothes for cozy fall gear can take some of the pressure off our physical appearances. In that way, we can be more at ease with our bodies and ourselves. I see what you're saying, but I'm not agreeing with the point, but I do enjoy fall for that reason, because I can wear my knitted sweaters again. I would say it feels more like if you put on heavy sweaters, because these sweaters weigh quite a lot, it feels kind of like you're constantly hugged in a way, which is comforting. I think we'll move on to the specific bookworm list. And when I tried to Google why bookworms love this season so much, this is the first thing that came up. It's getting cozy as temperatures start to drop. You can dim the lights and read by candlelight, preferably while wearing a knitted sweater and over the knee socks. In fall, we all look like walking bookstagram pictures. Well, first of all, I've never been a candlelight person because it looks nice, but I'm afraid of burning the house down. Also, I'm 33 years old. I'm not old by any means, but I'm already looking for lamps with more lumen. I do not want less daylight for my reading. I want more. Maybe this is what it takes. Maybe now I'm going to go over to my Kindle again so I can choose my own light settings. I have thought that at some point I might have to go to the Kindle because of the variable font size, but maybe I'll become a seasonal Kindle user. And at number two we have, but the temperature's still mild. Well, outside now I think it's two degrees Celsius. I'll find out what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's not much. At least it's not 
so much that I can sit outside and read a book. So that one I really can't take seriously and it's also a reason why I find some bookstagram pictures a bit hilarious when I see people sitting outside in minimal clothing reading a book and you can see the leaves lying on the ground and they've become pretty brown and you can just imagine how cold it is. At number three it's It's the most beautiful season. Fall with all its beautiful colors just look like a scene straight out of a book. Gazing out at the stunning fall landscape you feel like you've fallen right through pages into one of your books. Yes, I pretty much agree with this one. Autumn is the most beautiful season. The problem is that it lasts for too little. This year actually we have had fall colors for quite some time but usually there's one to two weeks where it's really beautiful and then it all disappears and gets a bit sad. But related to books why would you wish to have beautiful surroundings when you're going to read anyway? Maybe this is one for the audiobooks where you just listen and stare out because then it's really really gorgeous looking outside for those two weeks. At number four we have, there are so many book releases, and yes it is, and do we need them? My TBR says no, but I get why people like new books, we all like new books, but I feel a bit stressed out when there are new books by an author I like every other day. I feel like there's too many books I want to be reading and so little time, but of course that's a positive thing. At number five we have the most useless one, and it's and remember some great ones left over from summer too. Remember all those brand new books that hit stores over the summer and that you totally planned to read on vacation but then got distracted by clear blue seas and cocktails? Yeah, well you can read them now. And again, that's why we have summer vacation so we have time to read. Now you probably have other books you want to read. I do. Also summer vibes and autumnal vibes are two different things really two different things and I do not want to read my summer books now. I don't feel like it. It feels so wrong. I don't want to read the colorful paperbacks that I thought I would read this summer. I just don't. And at number six we have fall drinks pair well with books. Is there anything more heavenly than reading a book while sipping on a pumpkin spice latte? Well yes, drinking coffee of course. I see how this video might make me a more boring person or just reveal the boring person that I sometimes am. Nevertheless, I only drink coffee f when reading almost and I drink too much of it and I don't think I will change it up. And if one should draw the conclusion that when it's autumn you're more inside, it only means that I'm closer to my brewer. Brewer, that's a difficult word. And that's not a positive thing because that makes me drink more coffee, which I really shouldn't. But if you're a person that really likes drinking pumpkin spice latte, go ahead. I see why this is a great thing for you. And at number seven, this is the point where I really understood that I might have checked the wrong list, but then I checked other lists and they're pretty much the same, so what can you do? You have the most reading time. Summer is such an action-packed season and when Christmas rolls around you'll find yourself swept away with gifts to buy and turkeys to eat. Fall is three months of glorious uninterrupted reading time, so go on and enjoy it. I think this point just doesn't add up because in fall usually many workplaces have more to do because you have product launches and events and people gather in job related situations, you also start the celebration of Christmas in November in many countries or at least you have your Christmas parties many times in November. Also each year I hope to buy all my Christmas presents in November so I don't have to rush it in December so that's one month off. Also my impression is that bookworms tend to have a book with them on summer vacation. I don't think that's a bold statement. To sum this video up, autumn is a beautiful season when it's beautiful and a bit sad when it's over. And I really understand why people like to sit inside in front of the fireplace in knitted clothing and read their books. And if it wasn't clear, I am really really envious of the people that manages to enjoy this season in the way it deserves. While I'm sitting here and 
I'm thinking that I'm really looking forward to spring again. So what do you think? Which season is the best one for reading? Comment below. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!